Okay, what is it that I have in front of me? I have the top part of an atlas. It's a mold out of a cadaver of the superior articular edges of the articulation of the atlas vertebra. I'm interested in this, not in and of itself. Uh, you can find atlas vertebrae out there where you can see these anterolateral margins. These are what uh, have an interest to us. This right here on one side and this right here on the other side. The question is, do they line up to a matching condyle? The problem is we don't have any matching condyles out there. Where do you get an atlas that has a real matching condyle or skull where you can look and see how these articulations line up um, when you're trying to find that information out? And so what we did was we made a matching mold of the occipital condyles from that same cadaver. And of course, when I turn this over and put it onto the articular surface of the atlas, do the edges of the anterolateral margins line up as Dr. Blair maintained that they would? And so, let's just go ahead and take this atlas right here and its matching condyle, and let's go ahead and set them on top of each other, and let's look at that anterolateral margin. And of course, here's the anterolateral margin of the superior surface of atlas and the anterolateral margin of the condyle. And what I want you to see, if this video will work out for me, is to see that those edges line up absolutely beautiful. The question is, as they line up on one side, do they line up on the partner side? This is on the right side. Will they line up on the left side? And when I turn this and look at it, it lines up beautifully on this side as well. Now, whether or not you can see that anterolateral margin um, the way I want you to see it, I'm not sure. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to lift it off. There's the anterolateral margin of the atlas and the condyle. And when I bring them together, they line up beautifully. Not only on this right side, right side of the camera there, but also on the left side of the camera. Of course, that's what was, is of interest to us. Some people have wondered whether or not they line up, that if we looked at one edge, and uh, saw it lining up, could it be overlapped or underlapped on the other because of malformation? But this is supposed to be, according to Dr. Blair and others, and uh, those in the Blair work who take many of these uh, kinds of pictures of x-ray, that uh, when you see disrelationships there, it's not an overlap or an underlap of the articulation. That is truly a disrelationship and not just a malformation. I think while I have this here, it's also important to show you that as the anterolateral margins line up, um, let's see if I can demonstrate that right there as they line up right here that the condyle surface continues up in the back. It is larger uh, in comparison in size to the superior surface in the back. <clears throat> Dr. Blair said that they were matched duplicate sets but he meant the anterolateral margin. He also meant that the condyle uh, convexity and uh, the atlas concavities were also exact matches. They fit into each other very well. And the condyle convergence, or the atlas convergence, as the atlas superior surface converges, um, it, it converges, it, the articulation doesn't point straight ahead, but it converges in, that if this convergence were, say, 25 degrees, the condyle would match on that same side by 25 degrees as a matter of development. So, and also that the slopes, right here we see the slope of the articular surface of the atlas, that this slope would match the condyle. So in that regard, they are matched uh, uh, duplicate sets. Uh, they match identically. The slope, the convexity, the convergence, and the anterolateral margins all are matched sets exactly. However, he did not say that the articulation all the way around the circumference of the articulation was necessarily a matched set. The internal margin right there and the posterior part right there they don't always line up at all the way we look at them. And of course, that's not where Dr. Blair was looking to get information on this alignment. Um, I think it's also of interest, too, because I heard somebody say that if you have biarticular surfaces, here's a one articular surface or pad, and here's the posterior articular surface or pad, and they're separated in the middle. One person who didn't know what he was talking about said that if you have a situation like this, you'll never see them lining up properly. But you see that this is a biarticular surface, and they, they lined up beautifully. Again, we took two cadaver specimens. This one we made a mold of, and uh, the other one we didn't. We have to destroy uh, the cadaver when we're done with it, and so we don't have the opportunity to do anything except take pictures. But in both of those uh, atlas and, and matched occiputs, 
we found that they lined, it, lined up beautifully along the anterolateral margins. That is of extreme importance to us when trying to ascertain what the atlas vertebra has done relative to the condyles in a living patient when we take x-rays and see overlaps, underlaps, or juxtapositions. So a very important um, discovery in the chiropractic profession.